everybody. Welcome back to Kicking It With Lynn. Listen, my bib coming down. Y'all told y'all I was going to get me a bib. <laughs> well, it was actually my apron. But anyway, uh, hey, hey, hey. I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch my vibes. Hello, how's everybody doing today? Listen, I'm starving. I'm hungry. And I'm just going to really be getting it in today. I bad hair day. Hey, I've been running all day. I'm a little tired, but I'm mostly hungry. So I'm going to get this prayer in and get busy. Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you for this beautiful, blessed day, oh, Father God. I just thank you for uh, um, oh, the blessings, Lord, that you have given us, oh, Father God. And I just ask that you bless the hands and prepare this food and take anything unclean out of it and give nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Can't even get my prayer out, y'all. Yeah, it's a bad hair day. But you know what? I ain't even tripping, y'all. Today... I got lobster tail. Listen here, and I got these here. Uh, look here, y'all. I got them, them colossal shrimp. Mm hmm I cooked on the grill, and a baked potato, and a little side side salad over here, and my little butter sauce over here, y'all. Uh, I didn't bring me no spoon, bag nabbit. Okay, well I'm gonna have to make it do what it do, cause I'm on my own today, y'all. And you know what? I'm hungry. Listen, I had to go to the doctor today. And I tell you, all y'all, y'all probably tired of hearing about things that grinds my gears. This is, I need this to, to stay up. Okay. Yeah, because see this, I'm so messy, so I got a couple few bibs I got that I had, you know, from when I used to manage at this restaurant. Uh-huh. But anyway, y'all, uh, guess, let me just go ahead on and. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wonderful. I don't even think y'all was so hungry. I didn't even take the time out to really, really, really make my sauce like I normally do. Mm-hmm. But you know, when you go... It's going to be different because I... I didn't put that much work into it. I put a little bit in there. You know, I put I seasoned it and everything, but I didn't take my time with it, y'all. Like I normally do. Have y'all ever been like I know we get on here sometimes, we be like, I'm so hungry, but like ever be like like I'm just super duper hungry. Ain't ate all day hungry. <sighs> Baked potato. Mmm. Woo. That's hot. Hot and good. I said I wasn't going to mess around, so I ain't going to mess around. Maybe, can I fit that up here? Be trying not to spill everything, but I got this thing on today, y'all. So, how's everybody doing? Hi to the Fabulous Five and all my rubies. How's everybody doing on this wonderful, beautiful, blessed day? Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh my goodness. Listen here. This is delicious, y'all. To live for. Y'all know when I say that, this is to live for. Because, you know, people be saying, this is to die for. Ain't nothing to die for. And I don't love nobody to death. I love people to life. That's why I say that. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to get other people that around me when they say it. I be trying to tell them, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, the tongue is a powerful thing. You can speak stuff into existence and not even, you know, I guess, you know, God don't hold it against you if you don't know no better. But once you know better, we need to not do that. Well, at least I don't do it to each his own. But I don't love nobody to death. No more. I used to say that. And a guy told me, he was like, you know, yeah, he explained it to me, and I was like, oh, okay. Makes sense. You know, you love me to death. 
But some people literally do love people to death. So y'all see my video? I got comments out. Y'all and even my clothes. Y'all probably, probably had, I didn't have this shirt on yesterday, but I might have had it on this week. It don't, it's this clean. So I, I told y'all I went, I was out running around. Mm. And I just, I was out, I had to go to the doctor. I was so frustrated in there. Y'all, I hate to go to the doctor. I don't go unless something really going on. And so, to go in there, you know, just grinds my gears to go to the doctor's office to have an appointment at, uh, say, 9 o'clock, and you don't get back there till 10. I got a real problem with that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got, no, I ain't got nothing else to do, but I don't want to sit in here all day. Shoot. If you go in there and you sit in the a lobby, you sit in the lobby for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Because they got a sign on it there and say, if you've been waiting for more than 15 minutes, you know, let us know. Okay, you sit there for at least, like, you know, 20 minutes. Then when they take you back, you sit in that office and wait on the doctor to come in and see you for another 30 minutes. I am impatient with some things. But I don't like that. I never did. Well, let's see how this here tastes. It's awful juicy because it's running down my fingers. And since I ain't got no crab legs, I didn't cook it with no crab legs today. I usually put everything, you know, together. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. I see that. Mmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all love me some baked potato. I could probably eat a baked potato every day. That's that salad mix from yesterday. Not the salad I was eating on here because I finished that off yesterday. Baby, that salad had me full all day. Literally. I did end up grabbing a snack later, but when I got hungry, I ate the rest of that salad. And it was, listen here. See, that's why I be having my other thing, and I ain't got it with me right now. I ain't got time for this. Not when I'm hungry. Jeez. Let me switch hands. But there, yeah, that salad is a pre-salad mix. You know, it's got the let this. The, it's got the uh, cabbage and uh, red uh, cabbage and you know all that wonderful good stuff in it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like the sauce, but it ain't my best sauce. It's good, but it ain't as good as it normally be. I'm just keeping it a buck. See there? See? Call it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's some lemon and lime. But anyway, y'all, I was saying, you know, I ain't gonna hard back on that video that I made or nothing, you know. And it ain't nothing. It wasn't nothing against our, our, my own people. It's just that you know we have got to do better by each other, or else we'll stay in the same boat till the end of time. You know, people wonder why this and that is going on. Cause we don't stick together. Everybody's divided. You know, we talk about the president. Or whomever out here trying to divide the races or what have you not. But, you know, we as a one do it to ourselves. Mm. That is so good. So good. Mm. Mm. Um, that's why I say to myself. Me and my husband be with each other most of the time. I was listening to a program actually, the Steve Harvey show, where a lady blames her the pandemic, COVID 19, for her husband cheating on her. Because they had to be in the house with each other so much. And he was getting on her. She was getting on his nerves. And she claimed she was tired of him watching TV all day. Some of y'all might have heard it. And so he got up to walk off from her talking. And said, I can't wait to get back to my baby. And she said, what you say? And he was like, never mind. And she was like, no, nah, what was that? She kept nagging him about it. What have you out? So he finally told her, I've been seeing uh, somebody at work that you know, that you know really well. And I slept with her on our wedding night. Mm. That what he told her, y'all. On your wedding night, you slept with this one? She's married and I'm married. And uh, to sum it up, he, he said he wasn't going to stop messing with her. Because they had a great connection. But he don't want a divorce from her either. Because she's a good, uh, beautiful, uh, career-minded woman. And she wants to know, should she uh, stay in the marriage? If she chooses to accept that type of behavior. Really? My husband tell me he got somebody on the job. It ain't got to be nobody on the job. It'd be anybody, period. And you and you ain't going to... First of all, the fact that whether you're going to leave her or ain't going to leave her is not really an option because I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. We already had this discussion. We don't, Neither one of us is with all that. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go when people start cheating. Number two, she said... Now, she's willing to accept that. Y'all, she's willing to accept this behavior from her husband. Show you she got less self, low self-esteem. Any woman that's willing to stay with a man after they done cheated on them. Mm-mm. Consistently? No. Unless you just uh, one of the women who don't care. You know, you just like, I don't care what you do. Because I've been that woman before that I don't care what, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying my ex cheated on me before, but uh, as long as you doing what I need you to do, I don't really care what you do because I don't want to be with you either. That's how, that's how I felt, y'all. Mm-hmm. You know, at the point in time, you get sick of dealing with folks. And I have one of them. Look at all that juice coming out. That's so juicy. Can I get that juice in my mouth? Mm. I have one of them that, uh, you know, one of them talking about if I can't have you, nobody will. Boy, bye.
I wanted out that relationship so bad, I up and moved out of town. Mm-hmm. So I did. Once I reach my, uh, I'm done with this. Listen, no. You ain't got to put up with anything off no man, but anyway. The man cheated on their on the wedding night. That's low down. And I think they've been married, uh, I think they she said they've been married 13 years, maybe 18 years. I don't know, a, long, a lot of years. So you've been messing with this woman for a long time, hmm? Wow. Ain't that much love in the world. We just ain't. I know you're doing this and you, uh-uh, mm-mm. Yeah, that's another thing, women. When men know that you'll accept something, you have to keep on going and going on and going on and going on until somebody get hurt. Y'all really like to eat the skin too. I do. I like the skin. On the potato. That's just crazy, you know. Straight up craziness and foolishness. But you don't women like that. They don't accept anything from a man. I believe anything they tell them. Man, who did you? Who did your soul? Who did you like that? That you so insecure? And a lot of y'all, a lot not y'all. I'm saying a lot of these women are beautiful, smart, talented. And, and he got, they just, uh, if they will move on, they can have so much more. I said, I mean, I mean, really? Oh, that's so good. She's willing to, to stay with that man because she loved her husband, y'all. After he told her he wasn't going to leave that other woman alone. Good y'all do that. And when she say they got a great connection, I'm thinking chemistry in the bedroom, maybe. I mean, what, what else could it be? Other chemistry could you have? But she said, if it wasn't for the pandemic, she wonder uh, if she would have ever found out about it. So because of the pandemic, she blamed COVID-19 for her marriage, for her cheating, lying husband. Got to blame somebody, right? All the thing a thing. Mmm. What's up? Y'all, I said y'all now. Y'all see me grabbing. I ain't playing. I'm sticking my potato in there now. Mmm. What y'all got going on? Have y'all had, y'all got any wild stories? You know what I'm saying? I 
Hit in the comment section, y'all, and let me know. Are you the type of woman that'll take anything off a man? And if you're a man watching this, are you the man that'll put a woman through anything? Or, you know, what are your opinions on women with low self-esteem that, 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 um, Stay in uh, these type of relationships, you know, and if you, uh, you know, how do you view a woman like that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yep, I'm probably smacking, but I, ask me if I care. I don't. Mmm. This butter sauce is good, though. It really is. Maybe because it ain't got no spice in it, y'all. But anyway, you know, everything turned out, well, I went to the doctor's office because I had this knot on the back of my neck. And it just kept growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And now it, ha it hurts. And so my sister, my sister, my daughter, you know, was saying that it was a boil and everything or whatever. It hurt. And my husband was trying to, but it hurt. I was like, oh, no, mm-mm. Let's just wait, because one nothing coming out of it or what have you not. But it got to bother me so, like, when I turn my neck, y'all, my it, it literally, my neck hurt it. Now, today, not so much. So, I was thinking, now, you know how you, you know, <laughs> listen, y'all, got today it seemed to have, uh, I don't know, maybe it, it, it's starting to heal on this. I don't know, but anyway, I went to the doctor for it. Uh, uh, she said it was a cyst and that she had to send me to a surgeon to drain it or whatever. So, yeah, that's what I got to go through. But I got to take these antibiotics because I don't do no pills. I don't do no medicine. I don't do none of that. I got to be hurt really, really bad to take something. Because uh, I, I don't like to... Don't give me no shot. What's in that shot? I want to know what's in that. Because, see, I don't know. Y'all know back in the day, I think it was in the military... Was the military back in the military when they was giving them black men? They 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 got they got black people medicine and other people medicine, and they was giving black men syphilis. I I believe it was y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong. They was giving them a me a men a disease, a shot that gave them a disease, and it killed them. Some of them, maybe all of them. I can't remember the whole story. That's why you shouldn't tell a story if you don't know all the facts, right? But I'm close to it, and some of y'all already know, so y'all gonna hit me in my comments, and y'all gonna straighten me out on that, right? That's what we do. Teamwork, make the dream work. I ain't got no problem with it. I, I don't know everything. I be knowing a little bit of something, something, and then, I, you know, somebody else might know the rest. But anyway, y'all, listen here. I was dropping my daughter off at work, y'all, and... On her side, you know, I live in kind of, you know, there's woods and trees and all that good, wonderful stuff. So, I, we was, you know, we turned and what's that, went down this road, right? Listen here, baby. Let me tell y'all something. There ain't many things I'm afraid of in life. There is not. But, baby, listen here. There was two deers on her side and two deers on my side. And they was coming down to the street. Y'all, these wasn't no small deer. They was big. I immediately stopped the car, y'all. I stopped the car in panic and I went into a frenzy. Do you hear me? Oh, my God. I put the car in reverse and she got the rub on my back. Tell my mom, it's going to be okay. Just go slow. Just go slow. I was like, no, I'm going backwards. <laughs> I'm finna go rewind. Listen here, y'all. I, 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 listen, I'm gonna tell you about my experience with the deer. So I said, "Oh Lord," you know what I'm saying. And listen, y'all, I, I, I can't make this up. When I said that, 
the deers on this side, the deers on that side, ran back into the woods, y'all. So I put the car on and I took right on off. Y'all hear me? I went on back. I got the heck up out of there, y'all hear me? I put the pedal to the metal, baby. Yes, I did. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I said, I'm not coming this way on the way back home. So I go down another road, y'all. I'm going down another road and what do I see, y'all? One deer. Running headed toward the street, y'all. And I said, Oh God, I'm y'all, I'm so serious. I am so serious. Like, like, like this is the deer right here, and here's the street, and me coming down the street. And I said, Oh Lord, again. And that deer stopped dead in this track. I, I kid y'all not. That deer just, I don't know. I just I just was gone. I just seen the deer stop. And I just I just kept it moving, y'all. And I'm like, OMG, but look, y'all won't he do it? Won't he do it? That's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Listen here, baby. God got God got me. Trust and believe that. Now I ain't perfect. Don't get me wrong. You know, I make mistakes, but I try to get it right every night when I go that when I lay down and go to sleep at night. I try to wake up and have a better new day and be a better new me, a better person. You know what I'm saying? I try not to do the same things over and over again. But I, like I said, y'all, I'm gonna make mistakes as long as I'm here. But as long as I recognize it and 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 and, and get with him in prayer, hey, all is forgiven. So anywho. Y'all, I was cutting up. I was, I'm so serious, y'all. If y'all had to see me, I called my husband on the phone, Pat, when I got past this one down here. And he's like, what do you want me to do? I said, come get me. Come and get me. And he was like, how? What am I going to do? I was like, I don't know. I just, you know, I just, I needed to talk to him while I was, after I had got past the dare, y'all, that last one. But anyway, the reason why, listen, y'all, one, back, back, uh. Back many, 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 many years ago, I was dropping somebody off at a camp. And there was only one way that you, once you dropped them off at the camp, that you had to go back out the same way you came in. So it's a real narrow road, wooded area, the road. I said it's a camp, y'all. And so uh, over here is nothing but water, a lake, or what have you not. Baby, I dropped this person off at the, at the, at the, um, the lake. And I'm coming back, y'all, and it was a herd of deers. A herd. It was at least six or seven of them. And they was in the middle of the street just standing there. D like they was looking at me in the car. So uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, listen here. I stopped my car and I started by. I didn't know what the heck to do, y'all. I'm so serious. And I'm looking over here all this water. I said, these darn deers come at me. I'm going to be over here in this darn water. I, I'm, I'm going to be over here in this woods. I don't know. And I was driving a small car. I was driving a, a Hyundai, Hyundai Accent at the time, y'all. Two-door hatchback. Whew. So, uh, me and deers, y'all. And, you know, I can't shoot the deer. You know what I'm saying? Because if I shoot the deer, uh, I'm going to go to jail for shooting the deer because, you know, you can't kill the animal. Well, you know, they be hunting deer, but I don't know if it's a different if you just outright shoot them and take off. I don't know. But anyway, y'all, I mean, if I had to, listen. But look here, y'all. I'm just, I am, listen. Me and deers, I, I just, I, I, something I can't do a deer. But... Oh, because I always thought just me, because I don't know nothing about no ant, no deer anyway. I always thought they were blind. My husband said, "No, they can see." Well, if they can see, why the heck they be running out to the street and to them cars and them trucks and semis and everything be hitting them on the side of the road? I'm just asking if they can see. I guess they ain't got no sense. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but I'm saying. He said they can see. He said something about the beam lights. The beam lights at nighttime. Stop some did. I don't know. I don't know. Startles on. I don't remember what he said, y'all, because I probably was the two. Uh, I was too in a frenzy to be. Uh, all I know is I, I didn't want to deal with them deers. Y'all, it was several of them. And so I didn't have no way when I was dropping the person off at the camp. I had to go that way, y'all. I had to go that way. So the only thing that saved me, y'all, was there was another, uh, it was a truck actually, came up the road and this, I, I just sat there. I just sat, I, I mean, I backed up, y'all, and this truck came and was just going on along and it is, 
Moved on out the way, y'all. And I followed that truck, baby. Listen here. I was praying the whole long. Oh, it was so long. I don't know how long it was. It seemed like an hour on that road. It wasn't that long, y'all, but that's what it seemed like. Uh huh. If it had if it had not been for that truck that came along, I don't know what I would have done. I would probably would have went back to the camp, picked that person up, and said, "Hey, you have to come drive me out of this." Uh, I don't know what y'all. I'm just saying. But anyway, that's you know my story about the deals and what have you. I'm just going on and on and on. But listen here, I'm gonna finish my food. I'm gonna get off here and let y'all go. So. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all, and y'all are called my rubies. Fabulous Five. Just Michael. Go check out Just Michael. He's also my son, y'all. Just Michael LGT. He took that LGT stands for Let's Go There. Awesome channel. Fabulous Five. That's that Evangelist World. That eating good, that hood girl too, and Jazzy V. Yeah. So listen here, y'all. If you haven't already liked, shared, and subscribed this video, go ahead and do that now. What you waiting on? Come on and kick it with your girl on the regular. I aim to please, but all we all know we can't please everybody. But I do my best. So, with that being said, I hope I don't have to get up, y'all. With that being said, y'all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. God bless you. Later.